Damian Priest has arrived. A man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. No longer cares for the WWE Universe. No longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found his true family. And the Judgment Day is their name. A look of pure disdain on the face of Damian Priest. Well, it's because he has passed judgment on the entire WWE Universe. And has found them all unworthy. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. The Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. Time to party with the Prophets. Hey, Corey, let me see your swag. Byron, I didn't think it was possible, but you saying what you just did somehow make Dawkins and Ford less cool. What do you and mean? And these guys are dripping with swag. Can you imagine all three of us walking into a club, cutting a rug or two? I can. Byron, you're humiliating yourself. I hope the street profits don't listen to any of this commentary, Byron, when they watch this show back. Look, I am in with the Street Profits. No, Angelo Dawkins. You're not, Byron. You're making them less money right now. The Street Profits want nothing to do with you. Guys, raise your cups for the Street Profits. We only have bottled water, you idiot. Well, look at me. I've got a cup. Check it out. What is in that cup? It stinks. It's homemade kombucha, Corey. Hey, you want some? No. You're lost.
The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. The Judgment Day. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Tag Team Championships on the line. May the best team win. Whenever the Street Profits are in action, Montez and Angelo have certainly set themselves apart with a tremendous amount of swagger and athleticism. Yeah, Michael, it's that athletic prowess that has made the Street Profits triple crown tag team champions. When they want the smoke, they get the smoke. Well, Byron, we'll see how badly they want the smoke here tonight. There's a lot of heat between these teams. I expect some personal shots to be taken in this one. I think the personal shots began before the match even started. And now it's a matter of what team can keep a cooler head towards victory. Over and over. He got whipped into that corner. Pressure must be kept up. Ah, oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Oh, double for the championship! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. What do you have to do to put this guy away? He's in off the tag. Oh, man! Larry! Successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Great body control. Angela Duncan's with a well-timed shot. A big splash. The challenger eating up some damage. Watch out. Somersault plancha. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Excellent opportunity for Priest to shift the momentum. That could be the spark Damien is looking for. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Just endless knee strikes. Some 
shock in the arena after that kick out. Return fire from Dawkins. Brought down with the Bulldog. Yes, tag! And off the tag. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Big elbow. Yeah. He knew that was coming. Good grief. The challenger's looking shaken. Sent into the corner. Close line in the corner. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Vicious right forearm. longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat. Every obstacle's been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Great reversal. These two having an answer for everything. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Spinning in the face of danger. 
been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans have been on, and I'm right there with them. Damian Priest showing no fear, no intimidation. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Oh my! Makes it back just in time. Oof, that was really close. There's the swing blade. Basement drop kick. Nothing fast. Uh -oh. New champion! This is just vicious. The men attack for the championship. And he stops the count for his partner. Top rope, putting it all on the line. And down on top. Look at the new champion. That's gonna be it. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Tag. Go for the arm bar and a oh. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Up and around and down. Those last hits rattled the champ. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Oh. Cowers right into the swift chop block. Champ will stay champ. Here he comes off the tag. Montez Ford getting ready. Five star flash splash from Ford. A championship level move. What in the world? This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with the back against the wall? Montez Ford realizing he's going to have to dial up something a little bigger than that. Retaliated with a knee to the face. Finn Balor has his sights set solely on his opponent now. Oh, no. Oh, right to the back of the neck. Knew what was coming there. Oh, right back to the elbow. Climbing right up top. He's got big plans. Take off. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Take a trip. Something happened. The title might change hands for the win. Elbow drop right on point. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh a right hand for good measure. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Create separation. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Is it enough? The cover! He breaks the ref's count after one. He's still got life in this matchup. Boom! Oh my goodness. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Slides him back to the mat. Oh, across the top rope. Damian 
Priest would like to be your guy. Superman chokes him. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is shifted. We almost had a new champion. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on the champion into the cover. Shoulders down. Determination of the challenger keeps this match going. You can just see how much this title means, how much one is willing to go to to claim themselves as the new champion. He's got the target across. Watch out. Landed. Priest tied that one. And off the tag is Finn Balor. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Superstars in action in a tag team battle. Here are your winners, and still the Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork. You said it, Michael. A phenomenal resume, phenomenal skills, and without a doubt, a phenomenal performer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ AJ Styles is in a class by himself, continually adding to his accolades with every single match. A Grand Slam champion in WWE night after night lives up to the moniker of Phenomenal. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. Oh, 
Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. A man who is never lacking in confidence, nor should he. Yeah, it's easy to tell that Robert Roode competes at the absolute top level, both mentally and physically, each and every night. success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, I like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. As this match starts, we can see that signature, confident, calculating look in AJ Styles' eyes. The mind of Styles has always been one of his most impressive features. More often than not, he's able to think two or three steps ahead of his opponent. That type of foresight is what makes AJ such an obstacle for anyone to overcome in the ring. And then you've got the decorated superstar, Robert Roode, known to use every vicious trick you can think of in the ring. Rude will do whatever it takes to keep himself moving forward on a path to fortune and glory. And I applaud his unwavering ambition. Rude has gone far in this business by always looking out for himself. You don't get the kind of global recognition Robert Rude has by playing nice. You get it by being cutthroat. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Can't quite get him there. of the WWE unit. Stop the mess. And that could keep Rude down. AJ Styles just adding salt to the wound now.
And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And AJ Styles walks away with the W. In the end, AJ Styles reigns supreme. Phenomenal. The self-proclaimed show stealer. Do I sense sarcasm coming from you, Saxton? Maybe. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dog one of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Right, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 228 pounds, CM Punk. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in this big time match. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you could throw at this competitor that could fade him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. And for Dolph coming into this one, I think you need to strip away all the talk on social media, all the interviews. They're all just smoke screens. Trust me, Dolph's coming in with sinister thoughts. Yeah, Ziggler is over. Here he goes for the win! And he closes it out. And a count stop short of two. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Nice counter by Ziggler. Oh, what a power slam. Power slam. Able to reverse. Dolph gets out of there. Side headlock applied. What a good Watch. measure. Taking it on the mouth. For Dolph Ziggler to win this match, he's going to have to rely on his in-ring savvy. Dolph knows the art of wrestling inside and out like... Up high! Cross body! Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Makes him pay with a counter. 
Versus. Oh, strong impact. Big forearm. Turned that one around. Uh-oh. Here they come. I can't believe this has happened. Oh, and one miscalculation turns the tide right back around. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. You hear the talk about the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. He went right into that turnbuckle. Look at the body shots, lefts and rights. That holds back Ziggler's attack. Big clothesline! Fires back with a crucial elbow. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Side headlock applied. Man. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Yeah. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Face first. He reverses it. Knee lift in the corner, rocks the jaw. And there's Dalton. Close to ending it all there. Oh. Dishing out a suplex. Effectively using the knee. Surprise me! And hey, what's the point of this? The guy already won the damn match. Being a sore winner. Being classless. Get in there, ref. Somebody's got to stop him. Who? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Lisbon, Portugal, the legend killer, Kelly. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. A competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight.
Here comes Five Feet of Fury. And she's got backup. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and Women's Tag Titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the Women's Triple Crown. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. And here's a woman on a mission. She has the singular goal of being the most dominant superstar in the women's division. And she has no issue getting in your face about it either. She doesn't care who she has to run over. There is no second place for her in any competition. Well, she'll be dealing with Alexa Bliss. A new and improved Alexa Bliss, perhaps? She's put the past in the rearview mirror. Little Miss Bliss is getting back to what she does best, winning matches. I'm looking forward to this aggressive Alexa Bliss. Less mind games, more punching people in the face. The barricade. Face front off the barricade. after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Ooh. How brutal must it be to stand amongst all those idiots in the crowd? <laughs> Alexa gets reversed. Big form. Being carried around with ease. showing that they have each other's number. Ah. Oh, takeover. Things taking a turn for her now. A nice shot by Alexa Bliss. There is something very unsettling about Alexa Bliss these days, Corey. Is that just a mind game Bliss is playing with her opponents? I think this has surpassed mind games, Cole. With what we've seen from Alexa Bliss, her abilities seem supernatural at times. Down in the basement with a drop kick. out the knee. Oh. Ooh, followed up with an elbow. Out of the blue, Bliss gets countered. Tossed into the corner. Oh, Bliss counters. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. She anticipated that one. Great counter. Close line. It's hard to tell exactly what a lot. Oh, she had enough of that. Drop kick. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Yeah. Her face cover here. Stopping the ref's count at two. Really had less 
less than a second to stay alive there. I don't think there's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look! Don't turn around! Watch out! Yeah. Alexa Bliss with a DDT. Does Bliss finish the job here? Two! Got past what was an incredibly difficult opponent. But there is no time to rest. Oh, this, this is a match I want to see. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark, the Bad Girls. This is a top-level team, guys. Each of these superstars could be a main eventer by themselves, but together, they're even better. Boy, guys, she is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. And their opponents, first from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Carmella's proven herself as one of the most talented in-ring competitors, but according to Carmella and Corey, she's also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't best looking. You already beat a snitch, Michael. Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Bow your head, Saxton. Show some respect for the queen. The only time I bow my head is when my neck hurts. And from Queens, New York, Queen Zelina! Winner of the first ever Queen's Crown Tournament. Lest we forget, Zelina also became one half of the most beautiful tag team champions in all of WWE alongside Carmella. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. There have been many who've called themselves the queen, but Zelina is the only one with the crown. And we're on our way in 
this tag team matchup. There's a pecking order in the tag team division. And one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top. Counters. Quick exchange of counters there. Tremendous series of kicks. That's mounted with punches. And, not, and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Monster set up in the corner. She returns the favor there. Sequence of reversals there. And Carmella fighting back. Counter on Carmella. Good grief. Carmella may be in a bad way here. Take her head clean off her shoulders. Bunch of hand speed. So impressive. Avoiding contact. Ah, oh, look at this. Fireball mid slam. She gets the tag. to get back inside. Bam! She's gonna try. Uh oh, that turns it around for Carmella. That gets reversed on Nikita. Put it in the corner now. Ooh! She might be in some trouble now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. and clawing. This could be it. And she fights it off. She just will not go away. Tremendous 
series of kicks. Partner tags in. She's able to get the tag by the skin of her teeth. She turns it right around with a counter. Go behind. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? Zoe Stark off the rope. Stops the basement knee. these ladies in action. Here are your winners, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark, the Bad Girls. And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. These two are looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division.
The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 766 pounds, Solo Sokoa, Jimmy Uso, and Roman Reigns, the Bloodline. Strength in numbers, it's as simple as that, and a lot of strength on display here. Tonight has just become almighty. And per normal, Lashley is ready for a fight. And their opponents, first from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The Almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. Let's go, let's go. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. Look at the size of this man. Seven foot three inches tall, 400 pounds. The true colossus of WWE. And from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas. A true dominant giant. No kidding. I got a neck ache just looking up at him. <laughs> Omas's stature alone fills his opponents with fear. I feel fear in my soul, and I'm, I'm not even in the ring with the guy. Gentlemen, just take a look at the size of this behemoth. It is a scary, frightening sight looking up at a man the size of Omas. The monster of all monsters has arrived. And from Shiro's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Think of all the titles that Braun Strowman has won throughout his career. Tag titles, intercontinental title, even the Universal Championship. More interested in causing destruction and running over the competition. to be unleashed. WWE Universe, brace for impact. Oh. 
Teams in their respective corners. We're going to get a chance to see Solo Sokoa, Jimmy Uso, and Roman Reigns. And across from them, they will be squaring off with Bobby Lashley, Omos, and Braun Strowman. This match is very well come down to experience. And I'm not just talking about individual experience. I'm talking about the experience you have with your partner. Knowing how to be on the same page is going to be crucial. So your breath. Clean tag for his partner. Go, go, go. Close line. What impact. Uses the edge of the knee. This match grinded him down a little. Knowing how big all six of these men's egos can be, they might struggle to stay on the same page in this matchup, which is why the success of either team is most likely going to boil down to deferring to veteran experience. Right for a stalemate of counters. Net breaker. Getting him into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Just non stop blows. Strowman's being cut down in every corner. Jimmy displaying a lot of intensity. Jimmy with a counter. Sharp punch. Devastating kick. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, they've held pretty steady throughout this match so far, but it would not hurt to maybe tag out for a bit. Sakoa showing no fear up there. And what a maneuver we just saw there. And here's Jimmy Uso sent flying and into a rough landing. Them off with a headbutt out of nowhere. Strong takedown. 
Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Ripped in the hard way. It's a mowing drop. Ripping same time. Set right out of the ring. Solo does not think they stand a chance against him. Sakoa showing plenty of intensity here. Well, you don't often have your way with Braun like this. Uh-oh. Oh, right in there. Could be the chance for Lashley to change the complexion of this match. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. Catches the leg. I dropped the leg into a belly to belly. Oh, that was impressive. It's been an elacious encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's going to end. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Yuranagi. This is it. Coming to the rescue. Team matches are one thing, but make it three on three, and it's three times as good. Take a look. Here are your winners, Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and Jimmy. Nice teamwork by these three to pick up the win. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dr. Britt Baker from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. I know she's early in her WWE career, but Bianca Belair already might be considered one of the best. And here's the thing. She's only going to get better. You're right, Cole. It's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself. The EST Bianca Belair always has such a big smile on her face. Well, that's just because Bianca hasn't realized you're down here yet. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. And from Auckland, New Zealand, the WWE 
Women's Champion, Dakota Kai. She's got a ruthless attitude, ruthless kicks, all in the name of damage control. The captain of Team Kick is long gone. She is now the assassin of damage control. Yeah, and the chip on her shoulder has grown even larger since coming back to WWE. Bianca Belair here considers herself the EST of WWE, the strongest, fastest, toughest, and all-around best superstar the company has to offer. And one of the most athletic superstars to ever come out of the Performance Center. You can say her EST moniker is cocky, but there is also a strong element of truth to it. Absolutely. Belair certainly not lacking for confidence, especially as she can often back up her claims in the ring. But she's facing one dangerous superstar. Dakota Kai won't hesitate to stab you in the back. Friend or foe, if she thinks it'll get her what she wants, that deceitful ruthlessness makes her tough to contend with. That's a little harsh. I'd say Kai just has a defiant confidence. The courage to put herself first and look out for number one. What's important to her is winning matches, not making friends. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. Indeed! Big forearm. Bel Air lands hard ringside. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Oh, vicious kicks to the jaw. And that prevents any offense from Dakota. Three. Throws her back in from ringside. Right. Oh, man. Looking to take flight here. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Bianca Belair with a strategically placed shot. Running knee! You know, I spoke with Dakota earlier on today, and she said there is no limit to what she is capable of doing here tonight. And you have not spoken to Dakota. Yeah, there's absolutely no way. Look, I don't doubt Dakota Kai's determination, but if Bianca Belair shows her superior athleticism, Kai's not going to be able to get out of the gates. And if that happens, Team Kick is going to be looking for a new captain. Belair must be on top of her game because if Kai loses her innovative offense, the EST will be down for the count. Oh, man. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. A oh, jumping stop to the gut. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. And guys, she's dangerously close to a count-out loss. Ouch! So sad. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. Oh, my dear fault. This is amazing. shouldn't be getting involved in this match. I think the official should kick the manager out from the ringside area. You know, I'm... Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold, wow. The EST made team. A couple of knees and then another one, and that'll force the break. Oh, this is one of the most incredible comebacks that I think I've ever witnessed. This Very and she gets all her momentum stopped in a hurry. Dakota Kai, bang! Detonation kick. Dakota can taste it now. And it. Oh, oh, her behind that kick out. And that has to be a setback for Dakota. She didn't expect a oh, big knockdown. And all that momentum comes to a screeching stop. She's seen that sequence.
seconds before she knew exactly what was coming. Dakota Kai, GTK. And Bianca felt the full force of that. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. And the disappointment is written on Kai's face. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Saw that one coming. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Look at this Kelly drop. She throws her back in. He's put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. A valiant effort, but you can't deny that the earlier distraction had catastrophic repercussions throughout the match. Look, you have to celebrate the fact they won it all by themselves. Were you watching the same match, Corey? They clearly had some assistance. Okay, Saxton, and in basketball, does the person who throws the assist get the point? No, my point stands. What? Beast, the most dominant competitor in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. And you look at Brock Lesnar, you, you honestly got to feel that Lesnar is more beast 
the man. Now, Lesnar is undoubtedly the next step in human evolution. He has unbelievable physical gifts, does the beast. One thing he can't do, guys, is try to outthink the Apex Predator. You're right. It simply can't be done. This superstar needs to rely on physical ability. It's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. And his opponent, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. Whatever this superstar does, you cannot allow Brock Lesnar to enter beast mode. What are you gonna tell me next? You're not gonna allow water to be wet, Saxton? Looking at these men in the ring, you could tell we are going to witness a massacre here tonight. Brock Lesnar is going to try and end this early. The Viper wants to draw this out in hopes of hitting an RKO. WWE's Apex Predator knows exactly what the Beast and Carnage capable of. Both men like to start out strong. Tonight, we'll see if the Viper can survive long enough to strike with his favorite maneuver. Brock Power. Go behind. A oh, German suplex release. And he sends him into the corner. Got their opponent up. Driven down snake eyes. He turns it around. Hits the drop kick. Many superstars have butted heads with Randy Orton over the years. From what you've seen in those matches, what's a winning strategy against the Viper? You have to match the Viper's intensity. If you're not fighting twice as hard as he is, he's gonna devour you. So get your head in the game and attack like you mean it. Got their opponent up.
can stop the Beast Incarnate. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Finds a counter for Lesnar. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. I think the wind ran out of you. Incredible domination from Brock here. Look at the intensity from the Viper's opponent. Gaining the advantage by fighting twice as hard as Orton. Power slam. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Swift clothesline out of nowhere. for the crowd and get back into the fight. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. A counter answered by another counter. He's burying elbows in the midsection. To the outside. This could get wild. Oh, oh he slammed his face right into the barricade. Don't come over here. Colt, quick, you sacked into the human shield. Oh. Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announce desk. Something destructive in his mind. Boom, what a punch. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? And Viper are taking a moment. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Can Orton withstand this attack? Yeah, the Beast absolutely manhandling Orton now. will not end well. Ah, oh, Lesnar from behind. Brock Lesnar, perhaps set it up for a trifecta of Germans here. And Corey, you know what this means? An all expenses paid trip to Suplex City. The Viper and the Beast Incarnate have been unleashed tonight. These predators will not rest. I mean, look at his eyes. This isn't going to be good. He's got nasty plans in mind. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to see it. <laughs> Through the table. I have never seen a table explode that way. Full on demolition in the announce area going down. This is ridiculous. Oh, that was 
Escape now. You're locked in that cage. 